over here, Larry. Oh, uh, yeah, assess Brandon Peters' game, and did he do enough to earn another start? He really acquitted himself well. Um, um, moved the football team. Um, played uh, played very very well. Yeah, he's uh, he did he did a lot. And um, you know, from the from the first time he went in there, and maybe just feeling the feeling the, the deep zone and feeling the linebackers drop and just taking that extra extra half second to take a, take a breath and hit the check down. Uh, just uh, was uh, was good ball. You know, he was, he was good. Front left here, John. Coach Brandon himself said his biggest advance from fall camp was his communication. How much has he addressed the things that you talked about before the season? Um, well, he's made uh, made big strides. I mean, uh, really good um, in that area. Yeah, it's been, uh, and it was good. It was good out there today. Steve, Jim, what did you what did you see on the on the touchdown pass to Chris Evans? I thought Chris made a heck of a catch on it. Uh, you know, thought Brandon saw it well, good protection, uh, and you know, Brandon put it put it uh, put it you know, a little short, but uh, Chris adjusted well to the ball, and made a nice catch. And then the next time out, he had a two minute drill. What what impressed you the most about Brandon's game today? Um, well, the, the things I talked about earlier. I mean, uh, just that he was, he was, he was playing the position. He was playing. He was playing good ball. Um, two minute drill. I think that's definitely that's a that's a real uh, bright spot. You know, to go in there. And, was it his second drive? I think and, and, and get organized. Uh, and, and get our team organized in the two minute drill on the field. Uh, that's something. Quarterback doesn't usually have happen to him on the second drive of, of playing football. Um, yeah, I think it went re re really well for him today. That was, and that was great to see. Back left. Hey, Coach, um, obviously the quarterback position has been one of really high contention all season long by the man base. Um, at what moment did you decide it was right to make the switch to Peters and why? We had made we had made that decision uh, uh, before before well before the game that he was going to play. We're going to put him in. It was time. It was time for him to play. Middle back. Coach, outside of a few plays that the defense gave up today, how happy were you in their performance today compared to last week at Penn State? Uh, just keep keep uh, admiring the way how hard they play. Uh, our guys are really really competing, really really working, straining when they're out there. I think that showed up defensively. Forty some plays, and they give up fifty some yards. Uh, three plays where they gave up over a hundred. Um, that uh, hard working unit and uh, played very well today. <coughs> Back right, Coach. Jim, I'm curious when you go when when Brandon does go in the game for you, uh, you know you guys have obviously prepared him as best you thought you could, but at some point he has to go in the game. What are you thinking as a coach when it's like okay, you know you're in, we'll see. I mean, what, what was your, you know, were you nervous for him? Were you, were you did you expect him to go out and, and play well, or what was your? I was I'm mean, curious what's going on in your head at that point. Uh, no, I mean, I thought I thought he was ready. I mean, you base you base a lot of things on practice. Um, you know, good in practice, good in the games. Um, and now that's not always the case, especially with young players. Um, that uh, you know, some guys sometimes they're not good in the games, and, and they're good good in practice. But uh, and I was it was great to see him be good in the game too. Uh, that was uh, that was good. And that's something that. Young players, uh, when they're good in the games, they get that helps their confidence. That, that builds the that builds the confidence. But uh, we all felt we all felt good. Like nobody was uh, more nervous uh, about what was going to happen. Uh, and we thought he'd be thought he'd do good. From up again, Steve. And he did better than everybody thought too. Well, that was my question. I mean, did yeah. he did he exceed what you thought you'd get from him? And in a game like this today? 
from where he's at right now in his development. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I always, <laughs> yes, yes, I'll say that. Right. You know, you're going to move the, consistent, I mean, every drive, he was moving the, moving the team and uh, touchdown drive on the two minute drill, and, uh, 80 yard drive, or 75 yard drive, to, you know, start his, his first series in, in football, uh, starting quarterback in college. It was, I, I would think that uh, it would be very good for, good for his confidence and, you know, they build on it. we love to build on that. Front here, Steve. Jim, you had 200 yard rushers and, and, and pass blocking with, with better as well. Could you assess both sides of, of the blocking game for you, the run and, and pass blocking? Yeah, uh, I, I thought our running backs played extremely well, and you, but you have to start giving and give the credit to the offensive line, uh, a lot of credit to the offensive line. There's some big, nice big holes. Uh, of course, Drevno, nice, nice job with the run scheme. We had some, some very good schemed up runs and they were executed extremely well. Uh, tight ends, <coughs> fullbacks, uh, receivers, and, the, and the, especially the offensive line. And then the pass pro as well. The pass pro was very good as well. Play good up front. Play physical. I mean, it wasn't going to be. <coughs> and they were going to be real nice out there, you know. It was going to be, going to be, a, going to be physical. Jim, you mentioned I Brandon. Responded. Oh, you mentioned Brandon had been good, getting better, and better in communication and practice and stuff. And I assume that that was a lot of his thing that you were looking for. Was there? Breakthrough moment in the practice to where he, I don't know he busted through a, a shell to a certain degree. Did you see something at a particular moment? Um, yeah, there was. I mean, probably late in I think late in training camp. It was like, wow, he's 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 a lot louder. He is a lot louder. He is uh, he's he's really really doing a job. That sounds I mean that sounds that sounds good. That sounds real. And uh, he's been uh, he's been. Uh, He's been good, and I, I think we talked about it last week. You guys were asking me where things were, and, and uh, I always look at it as a as a process. And, and, uh, and now for a couple weeks, a couple weeks, that we felt, we felt uh, that he was ready, and uh, and it's time to make a bird leaving back the nest. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> kids going, leaving the house and going off on their own. Oh, it's time. It's time. Right, right Dad? And here we, here we, here we, my dad talked about that uh, last week and this week. It's, it's just time. We have time for about three more. We're going to start with Aaron. Jim, you mentioned the plane to put brain into the game today. Is the plane going forward to put them in games or going into the start of the oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, right now, I feel. I feel, that, uh, I feel really good about the way he played. And, uh, I feel good about him uh, you know, now taking, taking the next step and being, being the starting quarterback. And, and, uh, getting a great week of now knowing he's the starting quarterback in practice. I just sit here now, that's, that's the way I feel about it. Back middle, Kevin. Jim, you talked about the defensive uh, intensity from the get-go. How much was that? Um, Dude, like Mohurst, very first play from scrimmage, he ends up uh, drops a sack. And uh, how much does he mean to that defensive intensity? Um, a lot. Uh, he's, there's times uh, in, the, in the practice where he's unblockable. He just, he just wrecks everything, uh, and then he does that in the games too. Uh, it's, it's very impressive. I thought our whole front was impressive. Again, I just go back to the way they they just they play so hard. It's, uh, and, uh, hard work, the strain, really really shows up in the games. The way Mo plays, Rashawn, Bonet, uh, great to see Aubrey Solomon just, uh, did his first start today. Thought he acquitted himself very well as well. And, uh, Chase Winovich, uh, the same. So yeah, and then same with the backers, same with the secondary. They compete. You know. Young, but they compete. Last question in the front, Adam. Jim, uh, seems like when you 
when you go with a quarterback, you put all your confidence in him. You did it with Wilton, you did it with John. I'm just wondering how what, how difficult was it when you made the decision that you were going to you know, maybe move toward Brandon and give him shots? How difficult was that for you personally, I guess, you know, throughout your career? Have you ever had kind of juggle a decision like that for this amount of time? Was it was it difficult for you to make? Uh, no, and uh, no, that's just what we, we felt was the right thing to do. We felt it was uh, when we made the decision that he was going to play. Um, that was that was the plan, and we stuck we stuck to the plan. So, I did decisions. It's difficult. Or, uh, I and we, you know, we got we got our coaches there too. I mean, nobody looks at it more than or thinks about that more than I do. Um, and our coaches do, so. And they've done a great job on, and he's done a great job getting himself ready. What did the second like with John? I imagine he, did, did you guys kind of lay it out to him, like, John, you know, something's got to happen or we're going to go with Brandon? I mean, what, what was kind of, you know, your guys' talk with John? And, and he knew this was coming eventually. Right? I, I told, the, we, we told the whole team that this was, that was going to happen. Uh, our, our team Monday, our Monday meeting. And Brandon would play the game. Early. All right, thanks, Coach. We got okay. players here. We got